Welcome to KPI Fire. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create KPIs, key performance indicators, or metrics in KPI Fire. From the home screen, click on the metrics icon. This takes you to your metric dashboard or KPI dashboard. Each of these light blue tiles represents a metric or KPI for your company. Using the department dropdown, select the organization or department that you want to create a metric for. On the right hand side of your screen, click the edit icon and then create a new metric. Once you've created metrics, you can also create submetrics whose values will roll up to their parent metrics. In edit mode, drill down under the metric that you want to create submetrics for and create metrics below that metric. You can now see that I have two metrics that are underneath or submetrics of the yield on line A metric. I can enter data into these metrics and then have that data roll up to the parent metric. Now that my submetrics have data, I can go into the parent metric and have the parent metric roll up the data from the children metrics. There are three ways to get data into a metric in KPI Fire. You can either manually enter the data, you can use metric data from submetrics tied to a parent metric, or we can import data from other systems through our API. In this case, I'm going to use the submetric data options, and you can either sum or average your submetric data. If I click Average, it's going to average all of the data from my children metrics and give me new percentages for the yield on my line based on the two submetrics. There are several options to show your data. Smaller is better means that a smaller value for your metric is better. Greater or bigger is better means that a larger value would be better for this metric. You can also change the format of the data from number to percentage or currency. Once you've entered your data or copied it from an Excel spreadsheet, you can see the data on a timeline. There's a monthly timeline, a quarterly timeline, and a year-to-date timeline. Let's link a project to this metric. Drill down underneath the metric and then enter edit mode Click Create New Project and enter a name for your project. Now that we've linked a project to this metric, you can see the percent complete of the tasks associated with that project as well as the savings inside of the metric tile. That's the tutorial on how to create KPIs or metrics in KPI Fire. Be sure to watch the rest of our tutorial videos, and if you have any questions, we're always here to help. Email us anytime at support at kpifire.com.